So you know work is hard, but it may be now easier than ever, thanks to AI basically being able to do our homework for us. But for those of us who still need to use organic intelligence to get things done, this might be one of the greatest productivity tools ever made. And it could make you more advanced and even more intelligent than Tony Stark even before finishing college. Okay, I'm exaggerating of course, but the point I'm trying to make here is that this laptop realistically is so good that it could make me switch back from Mac to Windows and you'll see why. So the Asus ZenBook Duo is a 14 inch laptop that is available with Intel Core Ultra i9 or Ultra 7 or Ultra 5 processors, up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM, and with storage options up to two terabyte PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD. And its killer feature isn't just one Dolby Vision certified OLED 120 Hertz display, but two 120 Hertz OLED displays in a form factor that could easily be perceived by the untrained eye to be just a regular laptop. And it's got Harman Kardon speakers in there and a surprisingly large 75 watt hour battery. Now I know what you're thinking, two displays, surely the battery performance here can't be great. And you might also be thinking, this sounds pretty damn expensive. Well, Asus might surprise you with this one, especially in regards to price, and it will all make sense once I show you a few things. But first, let me show you some of the features that make me seriously consider switching from my current laptop to this. Both displays are touchscreen, so navigation can be even more effortless and faster than a laptop that just has a trackpad. It also has infrared face unlock, which is again, more effortless than even lifting a finger. And in some scenarios, it can be quicker than a fingerprint scanner. There's also a webcam in here that uses AI to follow you around and blur the background and things like that. And something that's really nice about the webcam here is when it's in this landscape vertical setup, which is what Asus called the dual screen mode. The webcam is actually at eye level, so you get a much more flattering angle when you're on conference calls. Asus even throw in a pressure sensitive stylus in the box for artwork and handwriting and signing documents. And that's super convenient. And for someone who uses Photoshop regularly, this could be extremely useful for creativity and thumbnail designs. There's a solid full metal hinge on the back. And of course, this kickstand's true purpose is to support the double display in either the vertical or horizontal orientation, so portrait or landscape. This effortless display setup can change your productivity game and help you master your multitasking skills. Now, something I really love about the Duo when it's in this dual screen setup in landscape mode is that instead of looking down and putting tons of pressure on the back of your neck, like you usually would with a classic laptop, the top screen actually lines up perfectly with your eyes, making it much more comfortable to work on over longer periods of time. One use case is that you could use the second screen for your reference materials or conference call whilst typing on the other screen. Video editing with two displays is undoubtedly better than one, which is perfect for someone like me. However, there is no dedicated graphics card in this one. So this is one of the areas where Asus has spared you a little bit of money. It does use Intel's integrated Arc graphics. So I probably wouldn't recommend this one for any extremely heavy 4K video editing, but it is more than capable of some lighter video edits and graphic design and Photoshop and things like that. So the possibilities here are endless and Asus does provide you the tools to use these screens more efficiently. They call it Screen Expert. The great thing about it is you can set up and save custom layouts and recall them at any time. They call this feature Task Groups. And because it is touchscreen, you can use your fingers to kind of drag and drop the windows around and lock them into place very quickly. Of course, you can do this with the mouse as well. And another possibility when it comes to use cases for having two screens is if you're trying to show someone something who's sitting across from you at a desk, you can lay the Zenbook flat and activate the mirror mode so that they can see exactly what you can see on your screen. And they will see the same thing the correct way around on their side. Another great thing about this laptop, besides having two displays by default, is that Asus hasn't cut corners on the ports. There's a full-size USB-A and two Thunderbolt 4 ports, so you can technically connect two additional monitors via Thunderbolt 4, and there's also a HDMI port there as well. And the CPU will allow for up to four displays to be running simultaneously from this one compact machine. That's pretty epic. There's also an audio jack here as well if you need to use headphones. And of course it does have Bluetooth 5.3. 
And something that's really surprised me about the Zenbook Duo is how good the keyboard feels, especially given the fact that it's so thin and detachable. The keys have 1.4 millimeter of travel and the trackpad is glass, which also feels nice and responsive. The keys have backlighting, but it is important to remember that this keyboard is a hybrid. So when the keyboard is placed onto the second screen, it connects via pogo pins and is charged by the laptop automatically. But when detached, it has its own battery power and it will connect over Bluetooth. But Asus have thought about this and there are in fact two backup measures in place just in case the keyboard does run out of juice. Option one, you could wire the keyboard to the laptop using a USB-C to C cable. Option two is there is an on-screen keyboard if needed. It's pretty good. You don't get any haptic feedback from it, but it does have sound effects and that definitely helps. So before getting hands-on experience with the Asus ZenBook Duo 2024 model, my initial concerns were that this laptop might be a bit heavy, a bit power hungry, maybe a bit chunky and expensive, but actually I was wrong. It weighs just 1.65 kilograms, with the keyboard attached. And actually when it comes to thickness, it's 20 millimeters thick with the keyboard in it. And that's just a few millimeters thicker than what I'm used to with my current laptop. And I do believe the second screen and the kickstand is definitely worth the trade-off in my opinion. And in regard to power, Asus claims the battery life is up to 13.5 hours when using it in regular laptop mode. With the dual screen mode, they say up to 10 hours. But of course, that would be under optimal conditions. But in the real world, with real world use, in the regular laptop mode, you'll get around nine hours on the single display and seven and a half to eight hours with the dual display set up like this. And that is still impressive when you consider the advanced capabilities that you have here with two screens. Now here's what seals the deal in my opinion when it comes to the Asus ZenBook Duo 2024 model. It is the price point. And one of the reasons the price point is so good on this is two separate OLED screens are actually less expensive than one large flexible OLED. Also, Windows can recognize the two separate screens like an additional monitor. So the user experience here will be better. And Asus have made a laptop with one large OLED. So they've taken that expertise in this area and used it here to deliver a more polished and complete multi-screen laptop experience. Now, depending on where you look, the price point at the time of this video starts at 1,599 pounds here in the UK and that's for the full HD OLED version. But if you want this one, the 3K OLED version, once again, at the time of this video, the price is gonna be around 1,999 pounds. But I do believe it is worth it, especially if you wanna take your productivity to new heights. See what I did there? New heights, the height of the screen and the, the second screen and the, the height. So I appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you want to check out the latest deal, there'll be some affiliate links below this video. If you use those, I'd appreciate it. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.